Hello, here at the Animal Experience, we are very pleased to now be able to offer our educational interactive experiences via Zoom. So we feel that these still fulfill everything we want them to be. We feel that we can engage with you, um, you can answer your questions, and we can have the animals here with us to actually teach about as well. But as well as that, we can actually show videos of things of the animals like at our zoo in their enclosures, or the birds of prey flying out on the field, or the animals feeding that are more difficult to show when we are in a class classroom or a household setting. These sessions can be totally tailor-made so they can fit into your topic or into your child's interest so you can have whichever animals you like that will fit in with what you would like. Um, and I would just like to show you a little bit of how they we hope that they will work. So here I have a chameleon. Chameleons are very popular and they are one of the most well adapted animals to living in the rainforest. So you can see the way he's holding on to my fingers here. It's got a very good grip and they've actually got two points. So it's split into a two and a three. So we have opposing thumbs. Our thumbs are on the opposite side of our hand. A chameleons is split into a two and a three. So they've actually got a far better grip than we have, um, which is very good for when they are climbing up in the trees in the wild. If the wind's blowing, make sure they're not gonna blow out the trees. So it's very, very clever for them. They've also got independent visions. So they can actually look two ways at once. So you can see the eyes there they can actually move independently. So they can have one eye looking out for prey and another eye looking out for predators. So again, helps them very much in the wild with their survival. They've also got what's called a prehensile tail. So their tail here, they can actually use to grip. So you can see it's just wrapped around my finger there. So if they were up in a tree in the wild and the branch they were on was to snap, the tail works a little bit like an anchor to wrap around another branch and would be able to pull themselves back up again, which is really, really useful because where they live, it does tend to be very high up in the trees. So making sure they're not going to fall down to the ground and say is a way to make sure they do survive in the wild. They've also got another really clever defence, which their tongue is about as long as their body. And when they see something they want to eat, they can shoot the tongue out. It grabs hold of what they want to eat, or it's got a sticky pad at the end, brings it back into their mouth again. Um, so they literally don't have to move to catch their food, which is really, really amazing. And I've got a couple of videos to hopefully show you this. So on this video here, you can see the chameleon picking its tongue out there to get hold of a cricket. And I've got another one here, which is very, very quick. So if I take that back to the beginning, you can see there the chameleon's tongue is just starting to come out of its mouth. And if I let that play, it just gives you a bit of an indication of how long their tongue actually is. And also the speed that they can flick that tongue out. So you can see there, the tongue comes out and brings the food back into their mouth in under a second, which is rather phenomenal. And that is amazing because they are cold blooded. So being cold blooded animals, they need to have energy to be able to move around to chase their food um, and they need heat for that. So uh, being able to stay still and quite literally catching their food by not moving is an amazing um, adaptation for them for in the wild. So I've got a couple of videos here of meerkats. So in this video here, you can see some of our meerkats at the centre that are eating. So meerkats are omnivores, so they eat all sorts of different bugs, beetles, crickets, grasshoppers, all that sort of thing they would like to eat. And in this video here, you can see they are eating mealworms and they've got some fruit and vegetables as well. So they will eat almost anything that they can come across, but bugs and insects, things like that are the favourite for meerkats. And with me here at the moment, I have Kit Kat, one of our lovely meerkats. So we have over 20 meerkats all together. And Kit Kat here is just one of them. Um, and meerkats tend to live in groups. So usually there's about 20 to 30 of them that all live together. You can hear that noise Kit Kat's making there. That is how meerkats talk. So they always talk to each other, tell each other where they are, what's around, what they can see, any food or danger. And Kit Kat is very, very used to people. So because I'm talking, he sees me as a bit like a meerkat. He likes to try and talk over me. So you can hear those noises. He was quiet when he was away, but now he's out near me that's talking. He feels he has to compete and make lots of noise. 
Um, I've also got another video here. These are some of our baby meerkats that were born at our center earlier this year. So the meerkats in this video are only a few days old and they're there with their mum and dad. So you can see mum there's having a good look out on guard duty. Um, so meerkats constantly switch roles. So they have some meerkats that look out for danger, some that would be out searching for food, some that are babysitting. So they have like teachers that look after the meerkats as well. So they have all sorts of different jo jobs that they have to fulfill in the wild. But as I say, that's a lovely video just to show you some of our meerkats as babies. So in our sessions, they can be totally tailor made um, and we can fit in with exactly your topics. So popular topics are things like rainforest, desert, African animals are one that we get quite a lot of, also reptile and mini beasts, and we can do fur and feather packages as well. Um, so if you do have any queries or you are interested in this, please get in touch with us and we'd be more than happy to help you. Um, we reckon our class is lasting about 45 minutes per class or per session. Um, so we look forward to hearing from you soon and thank you.